Do no harm. This is the oath all doctors must swear by before obtaining their medical license. It was first stated by the Greek physician Hippocrates in 275 AD. But this video isn't about him. It's about a man who lost his medical license, who takes that bust of Hippocrates and bludgeons you to death with it. Meet the medic. The most wretched, dishonorable, and downright evil playable character ever put into a video game who heals his friends to help them live longer? I mean, evil? Come on, guy. More evil than the dragonborn who stabs children with swords he steals from small businesses? More evil than Steve from Minecraft, who is a known animal rights violator? More evil than Grimace from Grimace Adventures Deluxe Return of the Six Golden Key Rings? Yes, more evil than all of them. Because despite the fact that the medic heals people with his medigun, what's going on in his mind is anything but healthy. He invented the most powerful healing machine in the world, yes, but never actually wrote an operating manual for it, meaning that he's the only one who's able to use it. He could have sold his invention to hospitals and made a fortune from helping others, but instead he chose to use it in combat himself. That's because there is something that the medic values more than wealth or health, it's suffering. He says it best himself. The healing is not as rewarding as the hurting. Aside from being a complete lunatic, he is also a proficient scientist, which is how he calculated that the most effective way to inflict suffering is not by doing so himself with his own weapons and getting his hands all dirty, but by protecting those who are already masters at it. Whenever the medic heals you in this game, please understand that he is not healing his friend out of the goodness of his heart. He is simply polishing an instrument of war. He only saves a few lives to ensure that many more are lost. To the medic, the question of life and death is not an ethical concern. It's simply an equation that must be balanced. Remember how once upon a time the medic did have his medical license? Yeah. Well, the reason it was revoked is because he stole something from one of his patients during an operation. Let's play a game. Why don't you try and guess what he stole? Was it A, the patient's wallet? B, the patient's medication, or C, the patient's skeleton. It was his skeleton. The medic stole his fucking skeleton. I told you guys, this dude is on another level. You know how in international warfare shooting a medic is a war crime? Yeah. Well, in Team Fortress 2, you've gotta shoot the medic first. He's the most valuable target in the whole game. He's what's keeping the rest of the team alive after all. But do not feel bad for attacking this defenseless little critter. He deserves all the pain that comes his way because he is nothing like those heroic field medics of history who wanted to save as many lives as possible and were deeply pained to know that they couldn't save everyone. Our medic could not be anything less like those guys. After all, medic's favorite part of the job doesn't lie in saving a life. Please hear me. His favorite part of the job lies with choosing which of his friends die. And this twisted mentality isn't just represented in his character. It's also reflected in the medic's core gameplay. When I choose to play medic, I'm not thinking, oh boy, I sure can't wait to heal all my friends and keep them alive during those tough battles. It's gonna be a challenge, but with my healing and the power of teamwork, we can get through anything. No, that's not what it's like to play medic. It's more like, all right, fuckers, who's ready to die? I will save your life, but only if you save mine first, because if you can't protect me, I will be abandoning you during a team fight to go 1v1 a low health soldier. And if you steal my health pack once, I will avoid healing you for the rest of the game. And if you get an insane multi-kill while well, you're my patient, you bet your ass I'm gonna be taunting afterwards and taking all the credit for it. Now, for those of you watching who are familiar with Team Fortress 2, you may be looking at me a little funny right now because I'm calling the medic evil and deranged when all of the playable characters in TF2 are evil and deranged. I mean, come on, just look at the Pyro, who is a schizophrenic maniac who in his own head is blowing bubbles with his buddies when in reality, he is burning people to the ground. But here is the key distinction. The Pyro is deranged, but he is not evil. He doesn't really know what he's doing. 
whereas the medic knows exactly what he's doing. He at one point had a German medical license, which means that he went through at least six and a half years of medical school, meaning he should be able to easily recognize the obvious symptoms of psychopathy, schizophrenia, lead poisoning, alcoholism, and sociopathy present in his teammates and in himself. And based on his amazing medical and technological mastery, should be able to invent equipment that could help them with their rapidly deteriorating mental states, or at least he could recommend them a therapist or something. But he doesn't do any of that. He has no desire to. Because the healing is not as rewarding as the hurting.